Hi, uh, my name is Ray Chambers and I'm an ICT teacher at Uppingham Community College. Now in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you could create a simple procedure within a game. Now in many games that you have, uh, some people fall into the habit of as you're going down their game and listing every single thing. Now what you can do is actually split up your game and create a simple procedure so that all of this stays together. So for example, this section of my game uses the B. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go down to code on the left hand side with touch develop and create something new and I'm going to go up here to name it and what I'm going to call it is, uh, let's just call it Bumblebee. Okay. So I've got Bumblebee, nothing happens but if I go to main and let me just show you the code beforehand running Alright, so that's what it does at the moment. If I go back, I'm going to use this block of code, so let's press the mark button. I'm just going to cut that selection, so that's out of there now. Go to the Bumblebee procedure I've just made and paste that. So that's all there. Now, you'll probably notice an error now, there's no Bumblebee appearing. So if I go to main, where I originally had Bumblebee, if I press enter to go down the bottom, if I click on code, there's my procedure I've made. So it just tidies up the code and it's good code in practice because I now know if something's going wrong with the Bumblebee or it's not appearing, I can just go to this area to fix it rather than having lots of problems elsewhere because if I run it now, it works exactly the same. Okay, uh, so that's how you create a simple procedure. Uh, thank you.